What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Quality of this video is going to be the same as the mail call video. My camera is right there and it is dead. Forgot to charge it, so I'm going to have to deal with this for right now. It's currently like, probably like 10 o'clock at night. So it's a little late, but as you guys can see here, I have um, an Atlas Masterline product. And uh, I'll tell you what it is in a second. You guys probably already know what it is, but I'll tell you guys what it is in a second. First of all... Um, I will tell you guys what I got from the Spring Creek Model Train Show right now, and that is these items. Here, let me move this track out of the way. Still working on track, as you can see there. It's 90% completed, 80% completed. But, yeah, I got all this right here. My foam is all messed up from the months that it has not been finished. But, yeah, that's what I got. Spent about 185 I also got two containers, those are not right here, but they're 40 footers, Walther Sea Master. But, you know, kind of going back, you guys already know what containers look like. But, I'm going to take this off of here, put it on there, and move this track again, and just throw it back here, I guess. Let's back, put it back there. Um, I'm going to set this on this track here. These are articulated. Sorry about the mess below the layout. on the tracks. And then, did I do a good job? Yes, I did. Alright. So that is the, uh, well, first of all, the box is huge. This is my hand. You know, just kind of going along here. Really long. MSRP $100. They're coming back out with these. They're $100 again. Except Spring Creek has them for $80. And uh, Train World has them for $70. You can get four different versions that I know of. Santa Fe um, and then TTX Faded version. Um, with the red logo, TTX faded version with this logo, and the Norfolk Southern Horsehead faded version, I think, that's faded. It might not be faded, but, yeah, that's what it is. It's a scale articulate auto rack. you got to build this. Instructions are right here to building this. And, actually, this uh, video is kind of all about Atlas and what I got from the Spring Creek Model Train Show. Um, I didn't mention that in the... Uh, title section of the video but you know that's what this video is all about let's see there that's how you put it together kind of easy kind of hard it just takes a few minutes to figure it out now since we're uh before we talk about atlas since we're talking about what i got from the spring peak model train show we're gonna unbox everything i got so back to the handheld with the phone you know, kind of gotten used to unboxing things so kind of know how to do it now um, you know, with one hand and everything. So there's the car. Lift it up like that. There's a brake line somewhere on here. Be careful not to touch it. Oh, it's on that side. But yeah, details amazing. I will not be. I will not be doing a review on this. Um, but I'll, I might show you guys all this stuff in higher quality another day. Um, because I know you guys like the high quality. Sorry about the noise that just occurred just now. Put it to the side, so we got that beautiful car. Underbody detail on this thing is amazing. Everything, all the detail on this car is amazing. Next is this Athern Ready to Roll Trinity or Trinity. After ready to roll from the uh, green car. Uh, there we go. I don't want to damage my phone, but this plastic right here, it's kind of like, you know, cutting it and everything. It's again, clear plastic and whatnot. I've already ran these on my um, little layout. Is my, so not this. I have something else. I ran it on at the club the other day, the Model Railroad Club, don't get that mistaken. Um, but I'm going to show you the detail on this car. As you can see that clearly, I'm just going to show the brake wheel side and maybe the underbody, underbody detail. You guys already know about these. My, my hands are shaky, I'm sorry. I was born naturally with shaky hands. 
Um, so we're going to get all that out the way. Clean that all by my camera over here. And moving all this far away from where it is right now. Um, I spent 40, 45 on that and 32 on that. So $8 each on the containers. I mean, yeah, pretty good de deals here. But since we're talking about Atlas, let's talk about the pretty much two HO Freight lines that they have. And I don't really want like this big box, but you know, it's whatever. Let's talk about let's talk about it. Two freight lines that they have. Right? They got Master Line and then they got Train Man. Now when you go over the details on here and the difference in the detail that you're gonna get. Atlas Train Man is kinda like uh, Walther's main line, except Walther's main line has like see-through details and and all that jazz. Um, this one's a little hard. All right, so that's right there. Um, from my point of view, that is not see-through at all. Oh uh, yeah, that's the detail in this. That's the detail on that. Um, I was going to get two of these, but, you know, it's not worth the money. They're cool cars, but, you know, they're just not worth the money. As you guys know, Atlas has those weird couplers that they make that everybody hates, you know. So, uh, as you guys saw just on that, um, sorry, I wasn't, you know, let me reopen that for you guys since that was out of focus. Or out of, um, view. So basically all you have to do is pull it forward and lift it out. Very simple. Actually I kind of like that better than some of these other brands where it's not a slide open box. This is kind of like cool the way you open it. And there's the car. I don't really do handheld stuff so I'm going to like do everything and look at the camera at the same time. So I just have the camera on a tripod because this is not... I don't have anything to put up this on the tripod with, sadly. It will soon, but not now. So there's the Masterline products. Here is this. And the ruler just fell. That's nice. Always nice. There's the brake wheel over there. So as you guys can clearly see, details on this thing are way better. Shaky hand gang. That's that. So clearly a difference there. But this is Atlas stuff. Um, gotta love Atlas. Should have a few more reviews coming out on Atlas stuff. You guys already saw the center beam review. Um, that was my first review on Atlas stuff, I'm pretty sure. I know I've showed you guys that I have Atlas stuff, but I haven't been reviews. Here, I have an idea. I'm gonna lean this on this, and we're all gonna be happy. I'm leaning you guys on the auto rack right now because the auto rack is tall enough to do that way. All right, so here we go. There's the Atlas boxes. That's all the Atlas cars I have for now. This thing is 20 inches long, from coupler to coupler. This auto rack is 20 inches. It's a lot. And this thing's probably like six inches, not even maybe five. Maybe yeah, maybe six from coupler to coupler. And this thing is probably around. Uh, kind of want to say like maybe like 10 inches, coupler to coupler. But yeah, go uh, support them. The link to their website is in the description. Um, so, yeah. Go check them out. Cool stuff. Um, I prefer the master line, but um, you guys already know. Train Man is always good to go with if you guys don't have money. Um, it's still pretty good details you guys see here. So, with all that being said, see you guys in my next video. Um, new review coming out soon. And, uh, yeah.
拜。